Okay, so now we have reached age 8. Basically, my abuse kind of starts here. It starts here, okay? The abuse, abuse combined with paranormal happenings and me not fitting in with the world and everything else. So this is where it starts. Okay, so at age 8, I just was visiting my dad for the summer. Okay, and I was living with my my mom actually picked me up. So well, I lived with my I lived with my mom at this time. At this age, eight, I live with my mom now. So I live with her in an apartment in Independence. So so one day, I one summer, I visited my dad. So when I visited him, it became nighttime, and they got a babysitter that was as a relative to my dad's girlfriend. Not my mom, but another girl, which he had cheated on with when he, when he was with my mom or whatever. So he, I went to that his house, and it was her brother, my dad's girlfriend's brother, that they decided to have as a babysitter. So they went to the club while I stayed there with me, my uh, younger sister, my sister, that's two years younger than me, and we was playing hide and seek with the other kids there, half brothers and sisters that was there. I went to the, I hid underneath the coffee table, and the babysitter shows up, black guy, darker than I am, and, yeah, kind of chubby, whatever. He comes over to me, then he, like, grabs my penis, and I'm like, what the heck? What's that? You know, the heck are you doing? You know, you have that feeling in your gut, like, that's private parts. You learn it in school. Private parts are private to you only. No one can touch them. Only time that, the only person that can touch them is you when you use the bathroom and when you wash yourself and you bathe. That's it. No one else can touch them but you when you use the bathroom. And that's the only time when you touch it, when you use the bathroom. So that happened, and then he, like, picked me up, took me to the balcony, or not balcony, like a back patio or whatever, the little patio before you actually go outside on the porch or whatever. And it was dark, and everybody was playing hide-and-seek, except me, because I'm in this freaking room with this guy, and he's, like, kissing on me on the lips and stuff. And I had to endure that. I called for my sister, but my sister was just yelled, I'm hiding right now. You're, you're going to make me, you know, give away my position or whatever. You're going to make them find me. Yeah. So there's that. And that's where the molestation started. Age 8. Under the coffee table. Getting grabbed. Yeah, my penis grabbed by this guy, and him kissing on me. And I think he's like 18 at this time, or whatever. Now, the deal with this, I don't. The deal with this is that this new this girlfriend that my dad is actually still with now. He's his wife now. That person is an enemy of my mom. So I don't know if this is on purpose or not to get back at my mom, which is to get at her kids because that shit, sorry, that stuff continued. Okay, so let's get on with the rest of this. Okay, so this during this time in Independence, I was also getting beat by a 
by my mom's boyfriend, which wasn't my dad, so stepdad, I guess you could say. And I did, that summer, I told my dad about the abuser, the physical abuser. Uh, I told him about him beating me with, he beat my hands he, with a 2 by 4 he had nails in it on the flat part, you know what I'm saying? Nails sticking out, nails sticking out of it like that, okay? And he would turn it over this way, no nails sticking out right here, but nails are sticking down, right? And it was a 2 by 4 like you would see in the lumber yards at lumber, like at Home Depot and Lowe's, those 2 by 4s yeah. And he had it cut specifically for me and my sister. Now, what he did was he nailed the nails out like this. And then he took them. He took the 2x4. The and he would hit my hands and hit my arms and tear their flesh off of me. Tear the flesh off of my arms. Tear their flesh off of my hands. Tear the flesh off of my legs. Off of my back. Off of my stomach. Off of my chest. Off of my legs. Off of my calves. Off of my feet. Till I'm bleeding everywhere with freaking holes. Now, he was doing this to teach me my times tables. So he said he called it. Now this man, he he is a demon man. He's not regular. Now, this brought up more psychic abilities, I guess you could say, because. I was in dire need of help, and I tried to talk to my mom about it, and he would do weird stuff, so, well, let me stay in line here, um, <clears throat> okay, okay, so I told my dad about him beating me and stuff, and punching me, and whatnot, and abusing me, because I got, I went down there for the summer, I had bruises, and I had these, Markings and all this stuff, which I never thought would heal, but they did. So I told him about it, told my dad about it. And so what happened is that um, he called up my mom and whatnot. And uh, Russell had uh, Russell J. Simpson, like he he went there, you know, to my dad and it was arguing and stuff. And it was, and my dad knocked his teeth out, whatever. And knocked his teeth out. And basically, like the abuse got worse or whatnot. When I got back home, but my mom it got, you know, worse from there. It's crazy. You wouldn't think it'd get worse. Oh. Getting the flesh torn off you. It, you think that's it. It gets worse. So. Huh. <laughs> Like next you'll start, he really like amps it up. Or you get beat more often, you get punched more often. You try to sleep, he punches you in the face. That's how worse it gets worse with that. And then, uh, uh, okay, so we're just gonna leave it at that part right there for now. <laughs>